Hello everyone, Infinite Movie Recaps here. Today I'm going to show you an action and horror movie titled Abraham Lincoln. There will be spoilers ahead. Now sit back, relax and enjoy. The year was 1818 in Indiana. A boy named Will was being whipped by a slaver for trying to help his parents. Abraham saw this and picked up an axe in a bid to help his friend Will. He is easily disarmed and they are both flogged. Abraham's father, Thomas, comes to the rescue and knocks out the assailant. Unfortunately, Thomas is fired from work by the owner of the establishment, Mr. Bart. That night, Abraham witnesses Bart sneak into their house and assault his mother. The next morning, his mother fell ill and died shortly after. After the funeral, his father made him promise not to get revenge on Bart and he agrees. Nine years later, his father dies. He gets some liquid courage at the bar, where a man tries to talk to him, but he is not interested. Armed with a pistol, he tries to kill Bart, but for some reason, the gun doesn't fire. Terrified, he runs away and hides in a shed. Bart tells him that his mother's blood was sweet and taunts him. He eventually gets the gun working and shoots Bart in the eye. Abraham throws the gun away, but he soon notices that Bart had moved from where he left him. He is attacked by Bart, who looks like a monster. Just before he is killed, the man from the bar comes to his rescue and tosses Bart away. Abraham wakes up in a house where he is introduced to Henry Sturgis, his savior. Henry berates Abraham for his drunken, sloppy attempt to kill Bart and reveals to him that Bart is a vampire. Henry tells Abraham that he is a vampire hunter but refuses Abraham's proposition to help him kill Bart. Abraham then desperately begs him to teach him how to fight and hunt vampires, which he agrees to. Abraham chooses his weapon and begins his training. He is instructed that real power comes not from hate, but from truth. Abraham is taught how to fight in complete darkness, since vampires have the ability to render themselves invisible and coats his axe with silver since it is effective in killing vampires. Henry educates Abraham about Adam, the first vampire, and Vodama, his sister. He tells him that vampires have been in the New World for centuries and have slaughtered tons of native tribes. They have set their sights on slaves and want to conquer the entire nation. It is left to hunters to ensure that the country remains a nation of men and not monsters. After his training, Henry told him to live a life without friends or family and sent him into the new world. He moves to Springfield and meets the owner of a shop named Joshua Speed. He gets a job working for him and reads to become a lawyer. While he is working, he meets a young woman named Mary Todd. That day, a letter arrives from Henry with the name of his first vampire target, an unassuming man who owns a drugstore. Abraham gets trapped and is about to be killed but is able to strike and kill the vampire. Later that night, he disposes the body. At work, he covers up his injuries and Joshua invites him to a ball. He is sitting alone when Mary invites him to dance. They dance to the dismay of Mary's fiancé, who is a senator. While they are dancing, they both express their interest with one another. Abraham gets more names and continues his nightly activities of destroying and disposing vampires. This makes him sleepy during his date with Mary when they meet up. She asks him why he is tired and he tells her the truth but she thinks he is joking and just laughs it off. After their date, Abraham contemplates letting Mary go to keep her safe. What they don't know is that Bart is watching them. News of Abraham's exploits had reached Adam and Vodoma. Will meets up with Abraham in a shop and they are pleased to see each other. Will tells him that he needs a lawyer to prove that he was born free and not a slave runaway. While they were on the street, some bounty hunters ambushed them, trying to take Will away, and Abraham uses his dope skills to fight off the bounty hunters, but they are arrested. Mary soon comes to help bail them out. Abraham does a lot of public speaking, and his talent is noticed by a wealthy senator. Henry finally gives Abraham the permission to hunt down Bart and tells him to be careful. Abraham goes after Bart and they get into a brutal fight. Bart seems like too much for Abraham to handle and overpowers him. 
Abraham fortunately was able to shoot him. Bart tells him that the vampires will not stop until the country is theirs and that Henry is one of them. Abraham searches for Henry and finds him feeding on a criminal. He is enraged but Henry confesses to him that Adam killed his wife and turned him against his will. He also tells him that vampires cannot kill their own kind and only one with a pure soul can do it. Abraham decides to let him go and breaks ties with him. When he goes back to the shop, he meets Mary, proposes to her and they get married soon after. Adam discovers Abraham's identity because his pocket watch was in Bart's hand when he died. He instructs his men to kidnap Will in order to lure Abraham out to New Orleans. Abraham tells Joshua everything and they both travel to rescue Will. When they arrive at the plantation, they witness vampires feeding on the slaves in the ballroom. Will tries to fend off the vampires but he is captured. Abraham goes in to rescue him. He takes out a lot of vampires but he is soon overpowered by Vodoma. Adam tries to sway Abraham to his cause. Adam threatens to turn Abraham and make him feed on Will if Abraham refuses to kill Henry and everyone that opposes him. Just as he's about to kill Will, Joshua crashes the wagon into the building and they all escape. Abraham doubles his efforts to fight slavery. Henry though, cautions him against that path. He tells him that the slaves have been the only thing keeping the vampires sated and once that is taken from them, they will turn rampant and no one will be safe. Abraham is adamant though and decides to put aside his axe and fight with words and ideals. After some years, he is elected as the President of the United States. Mary and Abraham had a son named Willie and shortly after, the country falls into a civil war. Abraham successfully abolishes slavery. In retaliation, Vodoma sneaks into the White House and poisons Willie. He gets sick just like Abraham's mother and dies days later. Mary is inconsolable and blames Abraham for the death of their son. The war continued raging on. The vampires were fighting alongside the confederates. Their bullets were useless against the vampires and there were countless deaths. Abraham gets an idea to use silver against the vampires. They collect every silver item they can find in order to weaponize them and transport it to the battlefield in Gettysburg. Joshua, weary of the loss of lives on both sides, betrays Abraham and tips off the Dama and Adam about the plan. The vampires prepare to ambush the train while Mary flees Washington in the cover of the night. Abraham, Joshua and Will board the train in order to protect it. During the journey, Abraham finds Henry on board the train. Henry tells him that Joshua is not to be trusted and he has betrayed them but Abraham doesn't believe him. The vampires board the train and begin the assault. They attack Will and he desperately fights for his life. He meets up with Abraham and they plan to keep the vampires away from the locomotive. Abraham fights relentlessly and saves Will as he is about to be killed. They continue to kill the vampires until Adam arrives. He overpowers Abraham and breaks his axe. He tosses Will like a rag doll and is about to fall off the train when Abraham holds on to him. He is ridiculed by Adam and is about to be beaten when Harry steps in and saves them. Meanwhile, Vodoma had set the support of the train track ablaze. Adam and Henry fight furiously in the cabin when one of the crates get damaged and they find out that there is no silver on the train and they have been tricked. Adam catches up to Joshua and interrogates him. Joshua tells him that he lied to Adam in order to trap him on the train. Enraged, Adam kills him. Abraham and Will try to run to safety while Adam destroys the support beams. He catches up to Abraham and attempts to end him but Abraham uses a silver chain watch to punch him through his chest and kill him. The locomotive was about to fall along with Abraham and Will but Henry cut it at the nick of time and gave them enough time to jump to safety. It turns out that the silver weapons were smuggled into the battlefield by Mary and the free slaves. Using the weapons, the Union were able to decidedly defeat the Confederate and Vampire Coalition. During the battle, Mary was also able to get revenge for her son by shooting Vodoma in the head. The battle was won at last and Abraham was able to remake the country into a land of the living. 
the remaining vampires had to flee the country to other parts of the world. Henry offers to make Abraham immortal so they can live through the ages and fight vampires side by side, but Abraham turns him down. Shortly after, Abraham was assassinated. In the present day, a man is drinking in a bar and Henry talks to him in the same manner he did to Abraham all those years ago. Let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.